Thank you all so much for watching Town & Country today. Happy Monday, everyone. I hope you had a wonderful, wonderful weekend. Well, today we are discussing events taking place across South Georgia. Now, do you have any old coins laying around? Well, they might be worth a pretty, a pretty penny. Well, I'm here with Mr. Gary talking about the coin show taking place right here in the Good Life City. So thank you so much for joining me. How are you? Thanks for having me. We're doing great. Awesome. All right. So for those who don't know, what exactly is the Albany Coin Show? It, it's a we have a coin show we meet a coin club we meet once a month this is our signature event mm -hmm. and we hold it once a year in the middle of march and um, it's a time for the community to come together and, and look at their old coins bring them in have them evaluated we sell coins uh, we have uh, coin suppliers uh, and we have someone who'll grade your coins and we have foreign coins biblical coins um, coins that have been found off treasure by treasure hunters wow. off shipwrecks off of Florida. Okay. Um, we have a, a wide variety of things for all ages. Awesome. Now you actually brought some coins here for us to actually see in person. Um, but I want to ask you about how many coins do you have in your collection? Oh, <laughs> I, I don't want to take the time to, to yeah. count. I mean, I don't have enough days left. Uh, it's literally thousands. I okay. mean, from the pennies through the, through the dollars to some a lot of gold and silver there's it's just too many to count i've been doing this for a long time awesome now uh, this is the million dollar question everybody wants to know how do you know if your coin is worth money there's there's two types of way to evaluate a coin okay there's mintage rarity meaning very few were minted to sometimes coins have were minted 40 million in a year wow and then there are it's condition rarity which is if it's brand new with the original luster or it's old and been stepped on and run over and you can barely read the date. So it's, it's condition rarity and mintage rarity. You want something that anything scarce and hard to find okay. is worth a lot more than something that uh, anybody can find. Gotcha. Now I can just feel the passion that you have <laughs> for this. Now what sparked your interest? Uh, my uncle, my uncle Ricky, my dad's brother. Okay. Uh, when I was old enough to know what coins were, he mm -hmm. gives you a book and we just start <laughs> looking through rolls of coins at the bank. I used to sit out at the bank in, in my hometown and, you know, you bring in $20, you get 40 rolls of pennies. Mm -hmm. You look through, take the ones you want, trade them in for as many nickels as left. And then you, then you trade those in, you re-roll them and trade them in. Oh my <laughs> and, gosh. Uh, you know, you, you, you ride your bike. Uh, but I had a neighbor two doors down, mm -hmm. Mr. Davies. He had a coin sh uh, shop right in our town, uh, about a half mile away. And every birthday, Christmas, I'd ask for coins I needed. I'd give my mom a list. Wow. And uh, she'd try to get as many as, you know, was uh, was my allocation for that, wow. for that birthday. Wow. So. That's so awesome. So I want to talk a little bit more about the coin show. Um, how many people are expected to be there this year? How, how many vendors? Yeah. Probably uh, in the upwards of 25 to 30. Oh, nice. Vendors. But yeah, it's a, we uh, have quite a, quite a variety and selection. Foreign coins, mm -hmm. gold, silver. Uh, we have uh, collectibles that are there. But... Uh, We'll have a food truck, uh, free admission, free parking, okay. and uh, some a lot of biblical coins for the history. Now, when you say biblical coins, what exactly is that? Back when uh, you know the Roman days, uh, in, in the Caesar and, and um, you know A.D. Um, we have some here. I don't know if they're hard to see, but mm -hmm. uh, old coins that were punched back then and uh, used like we use today. Wow. Yeah. So how are you all able to get these? Well, you, you, you look points. around, you, have, you make contacts, uh, you, mm -hmm. you advertise what you may need and what okay. you want, and they're out there. Someone's okay. got them, and uh, they're so collectible and hard to find, so these would be pretty scarce. Yeah, <laughs> I was going to say, and they actually look pretty different. That's so cool. Yeah, back then they were based more on weight. Oh, uh, so I can tell because that kind of looks kind of similar to a rock almost. Yeah, yeah. You know? like they, a they, each one was done by hand back then and not these huge printing presses we have now that mm -hmm. just stamp them out uh, as fast as they can work. But yeah. uh, they were all handmade. Right? OK, now I want to do this for Miss Carla because we were just talking about a word <laughs> that um, it was hard for her to pronounce and I didn't forgot the word now. Numismatist. 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 Yeah. So can you tell us what exactly is numismatist? Numismatist <laughs> is someone who, who studies and is interested and collects coins of rare nature. Sometimes people just want to collect one of each of all the pennies or gotcha. one of each of all the dimes. Uh, it, it's, it's the person that is involved in 
the study collection, mm -hmm. and uh, you know they they just interested in it. You can you, you learn about presidents. Mm -hmm. uh, Benjamin Franklin's on a fifty dot fifty cent piece for a while. Uh, it's 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 your interest in it, your passion. Uh, it people that do this and and people can get started. I got my granddaughter started. Wow. And. Uh, you, you you make her learn about the presidents and mm -hmm. the history of them. Yeah, and uh, it, it it's it's a lot of fun. Uh, you, if you, as long as you can read the date and put it in, <laughs> and match the date with the hole in the you're book, good you're to good go. to go. Yeah, you know? <laughs> and then when the book starts filling up, you get this sense of accomplishment. And yeah, you know, you, you look around and you, you have you have purpose. You and uh, you, you go to coin shows, so all ages can come mm -hmm. and get get your young kids started. Um, it's a good way to keep their mind off of some of the other stuff going around. Gotcha. And well, uh, Mr. Gary, I think it's safe to say that you are a numismatist. <laughs> numismatist. <laughs> yeah, awesome. awesome. So give us those uh, minor but important details. When is the coin show? The show is this Friday and Saturday. Gotcha. At the Bindery at Oakland Lee County Library at 445 Oakland Parkway. Okay. It's Friday and Saturday from 9 to 5. Perfect. And uh, the 15th and 16th of this month, it, it, less than four days away. Perfect. Yeah. Well, there you have it. That looks, sounds like a really fun and educational um, thing to come to. It and can be. You're yeah. learning new words and everything. <laughs> Numismatist. Numismatist. <laughs> I like saying it. So yeah. It's really cool. <laughs> Expanding my vocabulary. <laughs> awesome. Well, thank you so much for your time. It you're was welcome. A pleasure. Thanks for having us. Of course. Of course. And again, guys, we'll have this information posted on our website at WAOB.com if you're interested in going to the coin show. Well, listen, we're going to take a quick break, but after